What's good, y'all? Dr. Trey Hanna. We was all taught that, hey, we need to watch out for our sodium intake, especially if you're over here trying to lose weight, right? But today, what we're gonna talk about is why it's not really the water retention that is the issue if you're trying to lose weight with sodium. It's actually another factor that you probably never heard of. Hey, guys. My name's Michelle. Anita. Peyton, Talia, Jazz, Marquita. I'm a physique. 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 Sometimes, especially in America, the rainy day never comes because we eat three to four to five times a day, right? But not only body fat is there to hold on to energy, it's also there to hold on to water, okay? So if you actually look into the animal kingdom, a camel has a hump. The hump on a camel is nothing but fat, but this is so the camel don't get dehydrated when it's in its natural terrain, which is what? The desert, right? Same thing applied with the human body. Not only body fat is there for energy, it is also there for water, okay? Just in case if you're not getting enough water, your body can actually break down the body fat into metabolic water and for you to stay hydrated, all right? But here's what's happening when you're eating a lot of salty foods. Fast forward to the 21st century, majority of the times when we have some salty foods, we're also having it with what? A high starch or a glucose food. For instance, queso and chips, right? The tortilla chips that we're eating, they're very salty. Here's what's happening in real time. Now, if you're eating them tortilla chips, your body's sodium concentration is gonna go up, right? If your sodium concentration goes up, then your body naturally gonna start to become more dehydrated. Now, if you start to become more dehydrated, then what your body's gonna do is gonna induce an enzyme called a dose reductase, which basically allow your body to convert glucose to sorbitol to fructose. So what does that even mean in the first place? Glucose helps your body turn energy to ATP, which is allowing me to go ahead and talk to y'all right now, which means what? It's keeping you upright, it's keeping you alive, right? Fructose in the human body promotes fat storage. So if you're having an enzyme that's converting glucose to fructose, that means that the more of this enzyme is being elicited, the more chances of you to start storing fat, or the more prone you are to start storing fat. If you're over there having queso and chips, and it's very salty, right? And you are somebody who is not keeping up with your water intake levels as well, your sodium concentration is gonna go up, there's gonna be a polyol pathway that's gonna be activated, and this polyol pathway, once again, converts glucose, which is the chips, right? Because at the end of the day, carbohydrates, glucose is the exact same thing. Your body cannot differentiate the difference between glucose and carbohydrates because it's going to get broken down to glucose in the first place, right? It's going to convert to sorbitol. You probably see sorbitol and some of the ingredients that you have in these keto snacks, low carb snacks, etc. But then it's going to get converted to fructose. And once it's converted to fructose, the more you consume, the more your body is more prone to store fat. All right? So that doesn't mean all because you're having queso and chips you're gonna start storing fat. It's all contextual. This is another reason why you need to watch out for your sodium intake overall. Not just for the high blood pressure. Sodium by itself doesn't call high blood pressure. It's about your overall lifestyle that calls high blood pressure. And if your sodium concentration is getting higher, that's why you're getting thirsty. Your body's actually looking for a resource, which is water, all right? So what can you do to mitigate this? Make sure that you're drinking more water when you know you're about to eat something salty, that queso and chips, the french fries. That way your sodium concentration don't go up as high. Simple fix. Cool? Hopefully y'all learned something today. Once again, you don't have to be afraid of you salting your food if you're making your own food. Watch out for these processed snacks and drinks such as soda that got sodium in it and ask yourself why soda has sodium in it. It's so it can dehydrate you so you drink more of the soda. That's your reset tip of the day. It's going to help you stay snatched all the time. Know in the summertime. Talk to you soon.